Hello friends, my name is Vikas. So friends, let's start with the session. In this, we will be discussing some important current affairs of fourth week of January. This session will be very helpful to you. So do watch the session till the end. So friends, we have an app by the name Carriers Cloud, which you can go and download through the Play Store. Once you have downloaded and logged in through your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to this page. And you can see here various all courses and various other sections provided to us. The courses that are provided by our team are very helpful and they will be very useful in your preparation. In the courses that we provide, we give you daily current affairs, weekly current affairs and monthly current affairs. In daily current affairs, we will be providing you with multiple quiz of 20 questions daily. Then we'll be giving you the daily current affairs content also. Similarly for weekly, we will be providing you 50 questions of quiz on weekly basis as well as all the important current affairs of that week will be given to you in an ebook. Similarly for monthly basis. Apart from this, we'll be providing you with banking awareness and all the banking relating exams. So don't worry, your preparation is in our hands. We'll be providing you with the best content. Apart from this, then you should know we've covered topic wise important daily topic wise or the monthly topic wise are covered in our course we'll give you 20 types of such pdf that will cover apps and web portals important days books and authors national affairs international affairs sports awards applications and web portals and defense sector all the topics that you see of general studies are basically covered here as you saw, we provide current affairs in English, Hindi, Banking Affairness, Exam PDF, Special Current Affairs, Topic Wise Current Affairs are provided to you, State Current Affairs, then Topic Wise Quizzes are provided to you. There is another section in Special Current Affairs that is Learn From Picture and we have named this Infographics. Infographics are your interactive PDFs that you can interact with. They are highly informative. I highly suggest you to go and check these out because they will be helping you to learn things in an interactive way so do check them out they will be very valuable to you all you have to do is to purchase our course you can use code vikas10 that will be giving you an additional 10 percent discount on the purchase you make so it is a bumper offer all you have to do is go and download our app and check our courses so friends we'll start with our session so friends, let's start with the session. In this, we will be discussing some important current affairs of fourth week of January. This session will be very helpful to you. So do watch the session till the end. Let's start with one liners. Then we'll be coming to the MCQ part. First is Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's grand hologram statue has been installed at India Gate. Kerala got its first ever scientific bird atlas. Mark this. Mansuk Mandviya launched revamped CGHS website and a mobile application. Remember, Mansuk Mandviya launched a website as well as mobile application. So both the things were launched off CHS by Mansuk Mandviya. Karnataka government launched a technology driven program known as Grama One. Ramgad Vishdhari Wildlife Sanctuary set up to be notified as the fourth tiger reserve of Rajasthan. Highly important. Mark this. I repeat, Ramgad Vishdhari Wildlife Sanctuary as the four tiger reserve of Rajasthan. If we talk about Rajasthan, there is Rantham Nas Ranthambore National Park, there is Sariska Tiger Reserve. All right, you should know this. Then Desert National Park, Mount Abu Wildlife Sanctuary, Kumbalgad Wildlife Sanctuary. All right. Next, India's first graphene innovation center. Where it is set up, it is set up in Kerala state. Mark this. Karnataka launched first of its kind brain health initiative to train doctors in mental health care. Karnataka launched first of its kind brain health initiative to train doctors in mental health care. So it was launched by Karnataka and brain health initiative. Second is South Mobang became Mizoram's first ODF plus village. I repeat, which village South Mobang became the Mizoram's first ODF village. What is ODF? ODF stands for Open Defecation Free Plus Village. Next, Andhra Pradesh government approved creation of 13 more districts. How many more districts were created by Andhra Pradesh? 13 more districts. India's largest electric vehicle charging station will be set up in Gurugram, Haryana. Important. Lok Sabha Secretariat launched digital Sansad app to make live proceedings accessible. What was the name of the app? Digital Sansad app launched by Lok Sabha Secretariat. 
प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी होस्टेड फर्स्ट इंडिया सेंट्रल एशिया समिट ऑफ द ईयर 2022 इंडिया विल कन्वर्ट 150 विलेजेस टू विलेजेस ऑफ एक्सीलेंस विद टेक्निकल हेल्प फ्रॉम इजराइल दैट मींस इंडिया इंडियाज 150 विलेजेस विल बी टर्नड इन टू विलेजेस ऑफ एक्सीलेंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ इजराइल मूविंग ऑन टू द वन लाइनर्स Which country recently launched a commemorative logo marking the 30th anniversary of its diplomatic ties with India? So, 30th anniversary. What is the name of the place? Tell me. It is easy, and we have done it. It is your Israel. Also, we just saw that Israel has tied up with India to convert 150 villages into villages of excellence. Next. Dash released 300 billion sustainable electronics manufacturing and exports by Dash a roadmap and vision document 2.0 for the electronics sector so remember ministry of electronics and information and technology has released 300 billion dollar sustainable electronics manufacturing and export by Dash by the year 2026 so the correct option here becomes option 4th no no not option 4th option 3 is the correct answer all right next in which city of kerala will the first graphene innovation center of india will be established we saw this in one liner what is the name of the state where this will be set up it will be set up in kerala what is the name of the it is asked name of the city if asked it is thirusur all right the digital university kerala has announced its partnership with center for materials for electronics technology that is digital university of kerala is is in partner with center for materials for electronics and technology that is met in thrissur kerala all right also it will be the place where india's first graphene india's first graphene innovation center will be set up this project will cost around 86.41 crore rupees all right to set up this hub moving on as per the transparency international corruption perception index that is your cpi index for 2021 what was the rank of india india was ranked as 85th and the country that topped was dash who topped it it was topped by denmark all right according to the 2021 edition of the corruption perception index that was released by a berlin based non profit organization all right it released it and india's rank was 85 and it had a score cpi score of 40 the countries that topped were denmark then finland then new zealand all right next there are some important days that you should know 25th of January observed as National Voters Day with the theme making elections inclusive accessible and participative 25th January as National Tourism Day with the theme rural and community centered tourism on 25th of January only we observe Himachal Pradesh Statehood Day 26th January as the India celebrated 73rd Republic Day which number of republic day was celebrated by India this year it was your 73rd Republic Day highly important next 26th of january international customs day theme being scaling up customs digital transformation by embracing a data culture and building a data ecosystem 27th of january as international holocaust remembrance day with the theme memory dignity and justice 28th as data privacy day 30th as martyrs day or you are also known as shahid divas mark this on 30th only we observe world epressy day with the theme united for dignity and on 30th only we observe world neglected tropical disease day but from these the important the highly important ones are your martyrs day all right and your national tourism day that you should know remember 25th january observed as himachal pradesh day and 73rd republic day was observed by india this year next question which bank launched an easy pay debit card in fitness watch in partnership with a healthcare platform that is go key what is the name of the bank that has partnered with or that has launched an easy pay debit card in a fitness watch so the name of the bank is your city union bank all right it is the oldest private sector bank in india in association with the smart tech enabled and healthcare platform that is go key has launched a cub easy pay what is cub cub is your 
or you can understand it is like a, a debit card was launched in a fitness band only that will be that will enable users to pay through the particular band itself all right next which company recently partnered with pencilton to launch pencil card india's first debit card with national common mobility card for teens a national common mobility card for teens were launched it was india's first debit card that known as pencil card all right so what is the name of the company is being asked here it is your transcorp highly important all right pencil tin a teen focus a pencil tin a teen focus fintech company what is a fintech company fintech here fintech fin is for financial and tech is for technology that means a company that is both related to finance and is using a technological matters for them all right this is a fintech company remember this also apart from that remember pencil card is a ncmc what is ncmc national common mobility card you should know the full form moving on which company built the world's fastest artificial intelligence supercomputer also known as ai research super cluster in january 2020 to it was your meta what was meta earlier known as it was used known as facebook all right instagram is also owned by meta so company that built world's fastest artificial intelligence supercomputer also known as ai known as ai is this can be written as ai rsc also all right don't get confused ai uh, artificial intelligence research super cluster all right rsc that is your research super cluster built by meta next what is the theme of the 12th national voters day 2022 we just saw what was the theme theme was making electronics inclusive accessible and participative next question which of the following amendment act lowered the voting age of elections from 21 to 18 years of age so the voting age from 21 to 18 was transferred in which amendment act it was your 61st amendment act all right important and when was it came it came in 1989 next name the maritime exercise that was recently conducted by the indian navy at arabian sea exercise that was conducted by indian navy location was arabian sea what is the name of the exercise the name of the exercise was paschim lehar all right highly important mark this this was a 20 day exercise named as paschim lehar and it was conducted at arabian sea it was held to validate operational plans of this and hence inter service synergy among the indian national forces that are indian air force indian coast guard always as well as your indian army as well as your indian navy so to enhance the participation and to enhance the uh, or you can say to enhance the relationship between these forces this exercise paschim lehar was conducted by the all the forces took part in it air force army and navy coast guard also but the exercise was conducted by you should know it was conducted by indian navy next which organization recently signed an mou with india's council of scientific research this is csir council of scientific and industrial research for advancement in global human health so the organization that partnered with csir to for or for the advancement of global human health what is the name of that organization it is institute pasteur institute pasteur so remember csir along with institute pasteur this is a french company or it is from france you should know they signed an agreement in global human health next coming back to international news president of armenia arman sariskan resigned india and israel launched a commemorative logo to mark the 30th anniversary of development ties we just saw this this was the first question 2021 corruption perception index india was ranked 85th india emerged as the world's largest exporters of cucumber and gherkins remember who is the largest exporter of cucumber and gherkins it is our beloved india india and france signed an mou with scope of cooperation in health research we just saw institute pasteur this is a 
फ्रेंच कंपनी और फ्रॉम फ्रांस सो इंडिया एंड फ्रांस साइंड एन एम ओ यू फॉर स्कोप ऑफ कॉपरेशन इन हेल्थ इन और हेल्थ सेक्टर इंडिया देन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इंडिया एंड यू ए विल बी सेटिंग अप हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी मिलियन डॉलर वर्थ ऑफ वेंचर कैपिटल टू बूस्ट द स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम टू इंक्रीज द स्टार्टअप सिस्टम और टू बूस्ट द स्मार्टअप कल्चर इन इंडिया यू ए एंड इंडिया विल बी सेटिंग अप हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी मिलियन डॉलर वेंचर कैपिटल अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रिमेंबर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यूनिकॉन्स USA has the highest number of unicorns China and then is your India India is on the third position with the maximum number of unicorns what are unicorns unicorns are the company with a market cap that have crossed 1 billion dollar all right next apple has retained a title as the world's most valuable brand in brand finance 2022 and it is the first company that has crossed the 1 trillion dollar market cap next name that decommissioned indian naval ship that was recently handed over to the dew administration that will be converted as a museum so the name of the ship that has been converted into the museum is ins khukri what is ins indian national ship khukri all right it has been converted into museum and and this was handed over to the dew administration that converted it into a museum all right next which small finance bank recently amalgated with the punjab and maharashtra cooperative bank name the small finance bank it is your unity small finance bank all right recently rbi announced the government of india's approval for the amalgamation of the punjab and maharashtra cooperative bank with your unity small finance banks you can write it pmc that is punjab maharashtra cooperative bank and your unity small finance bank next who authored the book a little book of india celebrating 75th year of independence so a little book of india celebrating 75 years of independence was authored by whom this book was authored by ruskin bond next and this book will be published remember by penguin house or penguin random house mark this next name the state that recently approved the creation of 30 new districts andhra pradesh i told you it will be asked the name of the state that have recently approved the creation of 13 new district it is your andhra pradesh you need not remember the name of these certain districts all right next which of the following fields are in padma awards apa among these fields which of them are or in which fields padma award is given remember sports award yes art trade and industry science and tech yes all of them are correct if i ask you highest civilian award of india it is your bharat ratna bharat ratna if i ask you recently bhutan's or bhutan recently presented their highest civilian award to an indian or to a foreigner he is whom prime minister narendra modi was awarded with the bhutan's highest civilian award that is known as nagdak pelgi khorlo or like order of the king also known as nagdak pelgi khorlo and this uh, prime minister narendra modi became the first foreigner as well as first indian to receive this highest civilian award of bhutan which small first small finance bank in india first small finance bank of india it is your capital small finance bank that started in 2016 Which country recently signed a 347.96 million dollar deal with Brahmos Aerospace Private Limited to procure Brahmos missile? It was done by Philippines and Philippines highly important mark this all right you need to remember Brahmos Brahmos is a mission or it is a joint venture of India and Russia and recently Philippines became the first nation that will be purchasing Brahmos Aerospace Private Limited or Brahmos missile from india next which country or in which city india's largest electric vehicle india's largest electric vehicle charging station will be set up in gurugram haryana we saw this in your one liners apart from that if i ask you international solar alliance where is the headquarter it is also in gurugram haryana and it is a joint venture of india and tell me india and dash it is your homework 
यू हैव टू टेल मी इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस इज द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ इंडिया एंड डैश अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस हंड्रेड एंड फर्स्ट कंट्री दैट ज्वाइंट यू दिस इंटरनेशनल फ्रेम सोलर अलायंस वॉज योर यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका नेक्स्ट विच कंपनी रिसेंटली पार्टनर्ड विद एग्रीटेक स्टार्टअप फार्म्स टू ऑफर डिजिटल इंश्योरेंस सोल्यूशन टू द फार्मर्स यू हैव टू नेम द कंपनी दैट हैज पार्टनर्ड विद फार्मर्स और यू हैव टू नेम द कंपनी दैट पार्टनर्ड विद दिस एग्रीटेक एग्री आ गया ना दिस दिस एग्रीटेक सी सिमिलरली आई टोल्ड यू फिनटेक दैट इज फाइनेंस एंड टेक एग्रीटेक हेयर सेंस फॉर रिलेटेड टू एग्रीकल्चर एंड योर technology so name the company that partnered with this agritech startup that was named farms to offer digital insurance solution to farmers name of the company is reliance general insurance next name the company that partnered or that has recently signed an agreement or an mou with npci what is npci national payment corporation of india's international payment limited to enable real time international payment for real time international payment that means from india to other country will be able to pay and this has been authorized by npci this is national payment corporation of india so the name of the company that partnered with npci was terra pay all right using this we will be able to send money from one country to another using the help of upi can you tell me the what is the full form of upi it is unified payments interface unified payments interface coming to some one liners rbi offered overnight vrr auction worth 75000 crore rupees lending card partnered with the bank of maharashtra to offer msme loans max life partnered with policy bazaar to offer insurance cover for homemakers terra pay partnered with npci international to boost cashless transactions sbi listed the maiden issue of 300 million dollar formosa bonds on india inx Google will invest 1 billion dollar in Bharti Airtel as a part of India digitalization fund highly important Google will be investing 1 billion dollar then Paytm money launch intelligent messenger that is pops to invest track markets all right that is your intelligent messenger pops launched by Paytm money to track and in order to invest and track markets next Name the company that recently launched India's first intelligent messenger named Pop. We just saw it is your Paytm Money. Next, in which company Google recently announced to invest one billion dollar to develop India's digital ecosystem? It was your Bharti Airtel plus Google setting up, or they will be investing one billion dollar. Next, which company recently named its listed holding company as Capital A? Berhad, that is your capital A. It was listed. Name the company. What is the name of the company? It is Air Asia. Highly important. All right. The new name capital A reflects the group's core business and its future undertaking as rapid digital transformation takes shape. Next, name the personalities who was recently named as the new chairman and managing director of Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. So, Push Kumar Joshi. Push Kumar Joshi has been named as the new chairman and managing director of Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. If asked, who will he be succeeding? Push Kumar Joshi will be succeeding Mukesh Kumar Surana. All right, he will be succeeding Mukesh Kumar Surana. Next, Dash became the India's highest run scorer in ODI cricket overseas during the. ODI series against South Africa so who scored the maximum number of runs he was Virat Kohli Virat Kohli has surpassed Sachin Tendulkar who had earlier scored 5065 runs in the ODIs all right and he now became the highest scorer Virat Kohli is followed by MS Dhoni with 4520 runs all right moving on now to some important appointments and resignations of the week neeraj chopra appointed as the brand ambassador of good dot pushp kumar joshi to be appointed as the new chairman and managing director of hp cl we just saw badrinath shrinivasan appointed as the md of wipro for southeast asia v anantha nageshwaran appointed as the new chief economic advisor of india highly important v anantha anantha nageshwaram appointed 
V. Anantha Nageshwaran appointed as the new Chief Economic Advisor of India. Arun Kumar Purwar appointed as the new Chairman of IIFL. Government has extended tenure of LIC Chairman M. R. Kumar by how many years? So his tenure as the LIC Chairman has been extended by one more year. Next, in which state recently Sarok Festival was observed? Sarok Festival. It is celebrated in which state? It is observed in Arunachal Pradesh. Losong Festival is of Sikkim. Alright, Losong. Losong Festival, remember, Sikkim. Moving on. Ramgad Vishdari Wildlife Sanctuary was notified as the Four Tiger Reserve of which state? It was the Four Tiger Reserve of Rajasthan. Important. We just saw these in one-liners. Alright, next. And it is the Fourth Tiger Reserve of Rajasthan. If we are talking about Tiger Protection Act, when did it came? It came in 1973. Next question. Which of the following got included to UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage List? Among the following, which were added into the UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage List? Intangible that cannot be touched. So, if you remember, it was a... It should be at something that is you cannot touch. Alright, so what was added into the UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage list? Earlier, if you remember, Durga Puja was added. So now recently, and Durga Puja is of West Bengal, Kolkata. So recent now, Viking era wooden sailboats. Viking era's wooden sailboats were added into the UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage list. Next. 150 Indian villages will be converted into the village of villages of excellence. We saw this. Israel will be helping India to convert 150 villages into villages of excellence. Next, which bank recently listed first USD $300 million for Mosa bonds on India INX and became the first India entity to raise money through Formosa bond. So the country or the bank that recently became the first bank or the first Indian entity to raise money through Formosa bond is your Dash. It is your State Bank of India that is your SBI. Alright, SBI listed its first $300 million Formosa bond on India International Exchange IFSC. Alright, SBI became the first Indian entity to raise money through this Formosa bond. Remember this. Next, coming to books and authors, a book titled Last Among Equals, Power, Caste and Politics in Bihar's Village, authored by M.R. Sharan. Next book, A Little Book of India, Celebrating 75 Years of Independence, we just saw it was authored by Ruskin Bond. Minakshi Lekhi released pictorial comic book that is India's Women Unsung Heroes. This is the name of the book and it was released by Minakshi Lekhi, Minakshi Deshi, Minakshi Lekhi and it is a pictorial comic book. Subhash Garg authored The $10 Trillion Dream. Next, Liberty After Freedom, A History of Article 21, Due Process and the Constitution of India, authored by Rohan J. Alava. Next, Operation Khatma, authored by R.C. Gangjo and Ashwini Bhatnagar. Remember this book also. Operation Khatma, authored by R.C. Gangjo and Ashwini Bhatnagar. Alright, this book is important. Then, is your Ruskin Bonds, that book name is A Little Book of India Celebrating 75 Years of Independence. These two books are highly important. Moving on. S Security Printing and Minting Corporation of India Limited set up a new bank note printing lines at Currency Note Press at Dash. This was set up at Nasik. Where is Nasik? Nasik is in Maharashtra. Alright. And Bank Press Notes at Dash. And these bank press currency notes were set up at Nasik, but bank notes press BNP was set up at Devas, and where is this Devas? Madhya Pradesh. So the correct option here becomes Nasik Maharashtra and Devas Madhya Pradesh. If we are talking about Madhya Pradesh, then remember first drone mela. Where is the first drone mela set up? Uh, was observed. It was observed in Gwalior, MP. All right. Where is Statue of Unity built? It is built in Gujarat. Can you tell me the name of the statue of equality? This is recently launched. 
स्टैचू ऑफ इक्वेलिटी यू हैव टू टेल मी द लोकेशन इन लोकेशन टेल मी स्टेट वेयर दिस स्टैचू ऑफ इक्वेलिटी दिस वॉज स्टैचू ऑफ यूनिटी इन गुजरात वेयर इज स्टैचू ऑफ इक्वेलिटी ऑल राइट इट इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट स्टैचू ऑफ इक्वेलिटी इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट सिटिंग स्टैचू ऑफ अ पर्सन और सिटिंग सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट सिटिंग स्टैचू यू जस्ट टेल मी वेयर इट इज द स्टेट नेक्स्ट विच कंपनी रिसेंटली पार्टनर्ड विद फिकी to support 5 lakh women led businesses under she means business program hashtag she means business program remember this and you have to remember that this campaign was associated with which company it was associated with meta highly important all right meta partnered with that means meta has partnered with fiki to support 5 lakh women led small businesses and you have to remember the name of the campaign hashtag she means business next major general yp khanduri directorate of the national cadet corps of dash was awarded with the prime minister's banner at the republic day camp so remember major general yp khanduri the directorate of the ncc that is national cadet corps of maharashtra was awarded with the prime minister's banner at the republic day camp next next are some awards prime minister conferred with pradhan mantri rashtriya bal puraskar 2022 on 29 children khuzangal won the best film award at the 20th dhaka international film festival mark this khuzangal all right international cricket council award 2021 announced babar azam and lizly lee won the icc men and women odi cricket of the year so babar azam is the men's icc icc men's cricketer of the year and lizly lee is the women's odi cricketer of the year then if we talk jo root has won the icc men's test cricket of the year odi stands for one day cricket one day international all right it is a one day format that is of 50 50 overs and if we are talking about the icc test cricketer of the year he is jo root then neera chopra has been honored with param vashish seva medal highly important param vashish seva medal was honored to whom neera chopra he is the person who won gold medal for india in the olympic games at due in which in which event he won it was javelin throw assam government conferred with assam vaibhav award to ratan tata highly important assam vaibhav award to ratan tata and this award is the highest civil award of assam state next who was recently awarded the sir garfield sobers trophy for icc men's cricketer of the year 2021 remember shaheen shah afridi of pakistan was awarded with the sir garfield sobers trophy for icc men's cricketer of the year 2020 one highly important next which of the following tiger reserve in india recently won the tx2 award 2022 for doubling their tiger population since 2010 so in which tiger reserve the population of tiger has been doubled due to which it was awarded with the tx2 award 2022 so the name of the tiger reserve is sathya malangalam tiger reserve sethi mangalam tiger reserve where is this sethi mangalam tiger reserve this is located in tamil nadu highly important all right also remember the number of tigers were increased from 25 to around 80 tigers now and it was in 2011 that we have 25 tigers now we have more than double you can say triple tigers in this area next who was recently appointed as the chief economic advisor of the ministry of finance we just saw anantha nageshwaran was appointed as the new chief economic advisor of india name the app that was recently launched by the lok sabha secretariat to make live parliament proceedings accessible to students what was the name of the app the name of the app was digital sansad important next in women's asia cup muscat 2022 dash won the gold medal while india won the dash medal during the event that was held at muscat onam so remember in women's asia cup in women's asia cup japan won the gold medal and india won the bronze medal and where were these 
हेल्ड दे वर हेल्ड एट ओनम और यू कैन से मोस्काट ओनम ऑल राइट चाइना जापान वन द गोल्ड मेडल एंड इंडिया वन द ब्रोन्स मेडल सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर बिकम्स ऑप्शन फोर्थ नेक्स्ट नाउ रिलेटेड टू सम स्पोर्ट्स लखनऊ आईपीएल टीम टू बी कॉल्ड लखनऊ सुपर जॉइंट अ चेंज ऑफ नेम एशली बार्टी बिकेम द फर्स्ट ऑस्ट्रेलियन वीमेन सिंगल्स चैंपियन इन द ऑस्ट्रेलियन ओपन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वीमेन्स हॉकी एशिया कप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इंडिया बीट चाइना टू बैक ब्रॉन्ज मेडल इन मुस्काट ओनम ऑल राइट सी एंड हु वन द गोल्ड मेडल वी जस्ट सो इट वॉज योर जापान एंड इंडिया डिफिटेड चाइना फॉर विनिंग द ब्रॉन्ज मेडल नेक्स्ट ऑस्ट्रेलियन ओपन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू रफाइल नडाल एंड एशली बार्टी वन द मैंस एंड वीमेन सिंगल टाइटल इन ऑस्ट्रेलियन ओपन हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल राइट एंड ऑस्ट्री बार्टी बिकेम द फर्स्ट ऑस्ट्रेलियन वीमेन टू वन दिस ऑस्ट्रेलियन ओपन एंड इन मैंस कैटेगरी रफाइल नडाल वन इट नेक्स्ट इज ओडिशा ओपन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू उन्नति हुडा एंड किरण जॉर्ज वन द वीमेन्स एंड मैंस सिंगल टाइटल इन द ओडिशा ओपन ट्वेंटी नेक्स्ट विच कंट्री स्टॉक एक्सचेंज यूज द फॉर्मोसा बॉन्ड सो वी सो विच वॉज द फर्स्ट एंटिटी टू यूज द फॉर्मोसा बॉन्ड इट वॉज योर एस बी आई नाउ इट इज आस्किंग विच कंट्री स्टॉक एक्सचेंज यूज द फॉर्मोसा बॉन्ड सो इट इज यूज बाय ताइवान नेक्स्ट द स्टडी ऑफ एलगे वॉट इज द स्टडी ऑफ एलगे फाइकोलॉजी एंड वॉट इज द स्टडी ऑफ इफ आई आस्क यू फंजाय स्टडी ऑफ फंजाय इज माइकोलॉजी study of fungi is mycology phycology is the study of algae all right mark this what is entomology it is the study of insects what is pathology it or you can say it is a study of or it is the study of the cause of origin of various diseases such as you can say covid came so in order to study how it was originated this is known as pathology next India is the dash largest in the world in pharmaceutical manufacturing by volume so remember India is the third largest third largest in the world in pharmaceutical manufacturing by volume highly important all right so friends that's all for the video i hope you enjoyed the session thanks for watching also if you have any trouble regarding login or payment or any other issues then you can reach to us on our mail that is support at the rate of affairscloud.com or you can call us on the number 9677333862 and we'll resolve your issue as soon as possible also you should go and check our courses that are available at a very reasonable price and that will help you to boost your preparation